Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we will learn about dictionary, which is a mapping data type in Python. So here are its key properties, I would say. So dictionary is used to store key value pair, wherein it doesn't allow duplicates because key has to be mandatorily a unique key. And that's how the mapping will be done between key and the value. Dictionary is a changeable collection, meaning that we can change it, we can add add items, we can remove items from the dictionary even after the dictionary has been created. So we can create, quickly go ahead and create one dictionary and just play around it. So we can create an empty dictionary using curly braces like this. So student is a dictionary which is not holding anything. So I will go ahead and show you how you can print its type. So here you can see that student is of type dict, dict although there are no items in it. So that's okay. It's an empty dictionary. Now let's say if you want to add items to it. So for that what you can do is you can go to student. You can say student1 which you can say student id I would say and student name is s1. Similarly, we can add another student with an ID 2 and his name is uh, We can go with either single or double, but we have to be in sync Here also I can provide double quotes Oh, that's okay Now if I will go ahead and print student you will see that it has shown items as 1 s1 2 s2 where 1 2 are the keys and s1 and s2 are their values respectively now another way of creating this is the one way of creating dictionary wherein first you will create an empty dictionary and then go ahead and add the items another way of add uh, creating a diction another way of creating a dictionary is something like this wherein you will put curly braces and just go ahead and add item to it once it is done you can give comma to colon and your next value so click here and print student so you can see that in both the cases we got the same output one with s1 and two is mapped with s2 so these are the two different ways you can use to create and initialize your dictionary let's say you now if you want to retrieve the value by the key with whatever the key you have mentioned over here so for doing that how you can do is use the print function and here student one and you can see that one key refers to student S1. And that's the reason we got the output as S1. If you will mention here another key, let's say 2, you will get the output as S2. So this is how we can get our responses based on the keys. You can also use a function called get for to in order to get the same response. So let's say print function I am using student is my dictionary name and here I am calling get so get and you can define the key whatever you are interested in so if you are defining key as one you will get the output as s1 so these are the two different ways you can access values for the given key now let's see how you can retrieve all the keys of a dictionary so maybe I can comment it out here get all keys and you can get all the keys using keys function so here you can see that student keys is giving you the list of keys which is one and two similarly we can add a new add a new item to your dictionary so that can be pretty straightforward like i had shown above we can define key and we can define here 
the student name so if you will go ahead and print student dot get with key as three oh, sorry you will get the response as s3 it means that student third uh, i mean the another record is added to your existing dictionary which is having a key as three and the value is s3 now let's take few more examples about how we can change the value in our python dictionary so let's say uh, first of all let's create uh, let me print the dictionary so that okay okay so this is the dictionary i'm having right now it is holding three records let's say now you want to update value of student id 2 so how we can do that is student and define the key here and simply go ahead and update it to some new value which is s22 now if i will go ahead and say student print student you will see that the new value is reflected here so updating the dictionary is similar to like how you can add a new value now let's click uh, let's uh, work on some few more things you can also update the value of uh, dictionary items using the update function so we can write the update here and what do you want to update so here you need to define in the curly braces and here you can define key let's say two colon and here we can say two 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 I'm sorry let's click here and print student so this is another way of updating the dictionary so you can use the update method and get your update and so for two now it is pointing uh, the value as s triple two now moving on how we can remove the items from the dictionary so for that we have a pop method so let's go ahead and make a call to pop and I will go ahead and remove the item having the key 2. So print and let's see. So this time you can see that now dictionary is holding only two items S1 and S3. Similarly, if you want to remove the last item from the dictionary, in that case there is another simple method wherein you need not to pass any parameters basically you can call pop item and it will pop the last item which was three in our case so now our dictionary is holding only one item which is one and its value is s1 so these are the two ways you can pop the items or remove the items from the dictionary So now let's create a dictionary again uh, with three items. Okay, now we will see how we can delete the item from the dictionary based on a given key. So for that we have a del keyword. You can define your dictionary name and the key which you would like to delete. So let's say we want to delete the item which is having key as three and i will go ahead and print student back so okay so i need to provide the quotation here and you can see that the delete del keyword has deleted the third item from our dictionary and you can also delete the entire dictionary using the same del keyword and you need not to supply any key value so do this and i will try to print it again it should throw us an error so you can see that now student is not defined because we have deleted it so i will quickly use the same collection for our 
okay so now let's try out few more things you want to clear the item so you do not want to delete the dictionary in entirety but you want to just flush off its item so for that you have student dot clear function and I will try to print student again you can see that now this time you got the empty dictionary because clear has cleared everything from our dictionary now let's talk something about copy if you want to copy values from one dictionary to another then you can use the copy function so this is a dictionary and we want to create another dictionary let's say new student or student new and herein we want to copy everything whatever is in our student dictionary so student dot copy and let's go ahead and print student as well as print student new so you will see that now both are holding the same values which are having three items basically now one more thing uh, let's say if you are now there is one more way which uh, some people used to do let's say student uh, new is equals to student or i can create altogether uh, new variable to avoid confusion so let's say i have created stud new as a new variable and i'm assigning all the items from the student dictionary to this so here what will happen we are trying to copy it, but actually it is not copying the items it is creating a reference so whenever you are changing in student it will automatically update the stud new i can quickly show you using that so stud new now I will go ahead and add a few more items S5 and if I will go ahead and print stud new so what is happening here is okay so you can see that I have assigned this dictionary to stud new and then I printed it so it means it is having all the three items whatever student is having now in next statement I am trying to update my base dictionary with a student and I am adding item to it but you will notice that it got appended to this new dictionary also and this is happening because doing equal does not copy the items it just create the reference so it means both the variables are pointing to the same location so irrespective of whether you are changing in this variable or you are changing in this variable both will point to the same location and you will get the exactly the same output so if you are not interested in uh, like uh, if you're not interested in uh, uh, touching this existing collection or if you do not want to if you want to keep it intact then suggestion is always to go for the copy copy function now let's talk about uh, one more thing which is loop loop means you want to iterate something so anyways i will be talking about loops in my next videos but just want to show you how you can iterate through the dictionary let's say you want to iterate through all the keys if you want to iterate through all the keys you can go ahead with for loop for key in and you can provide your dictionary name which is student and here you define keys so it will iterate through all the keys of the student dictionary and will print it for you oh so here it is student dot keys and Sorry, my bad here. We need not to define keys here. We can directly go and say for key in student and it will automatically, I mean, it will by default pick the keys from your dictionary. So in our dictionary, we have four keys, one, two, three, and five. So that's how it has printed here. Now we can also use the values function to obtain the same results. So let's see how we can do that. 
for key in dot keys so again the keys is a method and here you can just provide key so this is another way of printing the key so here you can just say student and if you want you can explicitly call the keys and you can get the required output similarly if you want to loop through all the values you can use indexing like this so for key for key in dictionary name student and you can say print student and you can use this indexing mechanism so using this indexing what you will get is you will get all the values from your dictionary so about two or for fetching the keys and this is for getting the values for all the keys now if you want to loop through both keys and the values so for that you need to go with the key value pair and we can do that using key and we can say value in student dot items colon and here we can go ahead and print key comma well so it will print everything for you so get both here i can put a comment print both key and value so this is how you can iterate through your dictionary and one important method like with any other collection we have done how can you get the count or length of your dictionary so you can just use len method and it will give you the count so here we have four items that's why it is saying four as an output so that's all i have for today for dictionary and i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you so much